Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So today I am going to present uh, a basic knowledge about NJS. So let's get started. Okay, so what is PJS? PJS is one of the most popular open source JavaScript framework written in JavaScript uh, to create or fill its interface. So uh, we need to have the familiarity with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And by using by utilizing VJS, it can also help the developers to create or build a dynamic and interactive web application. Okay, so why we choose VJS? So there are there are a lot of advantages for utilizing VJS, which is the first one is it is easy to start. VJS is like a toolbox for building websites. And we can use just few tools from it or all of them depending on the needs of our project. And then the second advantage is Vue.js offers two-way data binding through the vModel directive, which means the changes in this means that changes the data reflected in the UI and the changes in the UI will update the underlying data simplifying form handling. Okay, later I will show how it works. Okay. The third advantage is for its reactivity, which VJS makes it easy to create reactive data models. Uh, like I have mentioned earlier, when the data changes, the UI will update automatically. And this reactive system is efficient and ensures that our applications remain in sync with the data. Okay. So before we start the installation for VJS, we have two things that need to be installed first, which is the Node.js and the text editor of our choice. So we are going to use the Visual Studio Code and for the Node.js, if you haven't installed the Node.js yet, we can install it here. So we need to up, uh, we need to install the latest version of Node.js. Okay, so since I have already um, installed the Node.js, so I can check my version of Node.js by writing the command node So I am currently using the latest version of Node.js. Okay. Let's do that uh, and we already have the Visual Studio. Okay, so then only we can start the installation for Vue.js. So how are we going to install our Vue.js? Uh, actually, there are several approaches on how we can install Vue.js, including using CDN package, npm, Vue CLI, as well as Py. But uh, after I have done some reading, it says that the most recommended approach is by using Vue CLI. Okay, so how do we install Vue.js using Vue CLI? Okay. To install Vue.js using Vue CLI, so we open the command prompt. That's just the screen. Okay. Okay, to install uh, VJS using VCRI, open command prompt and write the uh, write this command, which is npm install npm install dash g space minus u slash cli. Enter. Okay, so now it is currently. Uh, installing our VJS in motion. So it will take some time to install. 
Ой, не то, подожди. NPM is on the And then and then have been solved. A recommendation to install but it had been a sorry. Configuration, yeah, Uh, go on, go on. Uh, 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 on the current folder. If you put npm install uh, g, it will go, go to the global default directory for the npm. Okay. Okay. So after we have successfully installed the VJS application, uh, we can verify that the view CLI has successfully been installed by running uh, view dash dash operation to check operation. Okay, so now I am currently using the latest version of QCLI, which is QCLI 5.0.8. So now uh, we already successfully installed the VJS. So we can now create our first project using VJS. So the command to create the project is view create. We name it as my uh, view project. Okay. 
to. So we will be needed to choose our preset. So I will choose the default in three group. So it is now currently creating my project. Okay, so now I have successfully created my first few project. So to get started, I will run the npm run serve command to start the development server. Okay. Before that, kita kena navigate the project directory and running that command. So, first, project. Okay, then I'm going to make Enter npm run serve to start the development server. So my application will be running in the local hosting. Okay. So this is the example for Vue.js application. And okay, for better understanding, I have created a project and a simple a simple web page. Let's use this one. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Kita tengok ni dulu. Kita tengok yang contoh dulu yang uh, project yang has been created tadi tu dulu. This should be open the folder first. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so after we have created our project, so this file will uh, be generated in our text editor. So if we take a look here, uh, we have the not modules folder, the public folder, the SRC folder, and in the SRC folder, we have assets and components folder. Uh, in the components folder, we have the hello world.view file, which is this is the component for our project. And this is the app.view files, which is app.view files mean is the main entry for our user interface. Okay. Now let's take a look at uh this file where if we can see here if we take a look here uh, we have three sections here which is a template section the script section and the style section in the template section where it contains the html markup for our applications layout and and the structure for uh, for this project and it will also define the overall structure for our interface, our application's user interface, the Catalan template. Okay, for the script section, this is where the JavaScript code is written, where it will define our behavior and logic for our applications. Uh, it may include the method. Uh, uh, the method, the data, and the maybe the life cycle groups are jumping. And then uh, for the style section, we have the CSS style where it uh, where it will be used in the HTML, the Catalan template for infection. Okay, so that you know you find me. Uh, ni lah uh, sample file untuk component eh, sample component kita. So kalau in my project that I has that I have created before, I use product view as my component. Product view as my component. So we are going to take a look one by one. Uh, what is the uh, uh, what is the, the use of define direct direct uh, define define direct uh, okay okay so this is the project that I have created dalam ni I have utilized the uh, view.js which okay for the first one maybe we can take a look at the title which is Hana flat shoes okay instead of we use the static static title uh, we are going to use the uh, we are going to use the data property which I have named it here as product and the value is Hana flat shoes and we need to use the ex expression expression by using double curly braces. Okay. Mustache. Huh? Again, mustache. Mustache. Bisa, bisa. Okay. So it will create. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, dekat sini eh. Okay. Okay. Next, the untuk product image yang ni. Also, I use data property where I need it as product image and then I find the file path and then I will uh, to use the data in the data property that you do. Uh, I use the rebind. Rebind ni untuk nak bagi macam if we update the data it will automatically update it dekat dalam UI. Betul. 
Okay, for example, macam kalau image tadi kan, kalau kita buka our project ni, ada uh, uh, yang kat depan ni kan dia tunjuk gambar kan. Okay, if we change it dekat dalam product image ni, kita change dia punya part of ni, contoh uh, warna blue. Okay. So dekat dalam ni pun akan akan display this blue shoes. And then other than that okay. Okay, untuk nak add to card ni kan kat sini ada card ni nampak tak? Nampak tak? Okay To make it Uh, to make it Okay um, To make it uh, Okay Nak masukkan add to cut tu Macam tu So we 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 have this Eh jap Atau nak enter dulu lah Yang inventory ni dulu okay. Yang inventory ni dia untuk Shows Stop info using conditional statement which kita akan guna uh, we if, we else if, we else untuk check the stock and the condition dia kat sini kalau more than 10 kita cakap in stock kalau less or equal to 10 and more than 0 we will be display only few left kalau we, uh, kalau uh, ada uh, else it will show out of stock so, okay, and if we want to use, okay, if we change the data here, contohkan dekat inventory ni ada dua kan? Okay, contoh kita letak 100, now we say. So, dekat dalam UI kita akan ubah jadi install. Okay, lepas tu contoh inventory dia kosong. So, I can turn this out of stock. But I will look at them. Increase. Article. I can turn this on the free stock. Jump up. Okay. And I'll keep it. Ah, untuk yang add to cut ni. Okay, okay. Kita buat button kan. Button add to cut ni kan. And we use the free on. Free on the one. Free on the one. Okay, okay. okay, yang ni uh, dia punya function is to listen to any event which in my cases ni kalau nak kalau user tekan tak tukar it will be added dekat dalam card tu contoh kita pakai be uh, only to make it in kalau ni nak tukar dia akan tambah so, contoh ni so, Lepas tu, okay, kalau dia out of stock tadi, dia akan disablekan add to cut ni. Okay, okay. Disable if inventory less or less or equal to zero. Okay. We change the data inventory ni kosong kan? Uh, so, dia akan disabilkan at the part of 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 the part so yang tu pun pakai be on juga. Yang tu pun dia listen to event yang yang user buat. Okay lah. User, user akan mouse over dekat mana-mana kali kan. Kalau dekat white dia akan display white shoes. Kalau dekat blue dia akan display blue shoes. Thank you, thank you.
Macam ada dapat tiga kali. Sini dapat tiga kali. Ah, dekat kota Bonang ada satu. Ah, dekat. How we present the movie this one. Kali ni you just define the data kan. Main PP2. So on the template side. Dekat atas sana. Okay. This one line 26 tu macam mana dia di capture Dan Sebab benda ni dia satu je Dia, dia span tu, dia eh. satu je kan Dia tak buat tiga pun Dia ni yang dia buat tiga Dia buat tiga kan, dia buat tiga pun Dia Macam mana dia boleh jadi tiga kotak ni? Kotak mana dia tak ada yang hancur putih Kotak index tu? Kotak Kotak Yang terdesing ada V4 tu kan V4 dia ada loop daripada properties yang kita dah define Dia buat properties berat-berat bawah data So we already define 952 variance So in GoJS there is a V V means Go punya properties lah And then dash 4 So ni ada for the new variant, variant is a new variable name in variants. Variants that refer to the data on this. So actually, it will create a loop for for loop uh, for uh, for line twenty six until thirty thirty one for the span. So we put on the span to the attribute. So it will automatically create uh, three. Uh, variance lah, because we already have three. Let's say you add one more data. Then you add one more, uh, copy this one. Four, and then you have to Okay. So, I Yes, uh, compile and run. Uh, wow. So, uh, that's how we, we change the inventory in the code. But in the production environment, we actually we click on the add to cart. We will automatically detect the inventory. Lah. Can we make it now? Mm -hmm. So, I said they can be uh, inventory will just put uh, three or four on it. This one is initial inventory here. And then, uh, where is the button to click? Well, put at the cut. Yeah, the two 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 at the cut. Yeah, there is a to cut method, right? Uh -huh. So over here, add to cut you plus one. So you add one more, you went three minus one. Nanti ni nak nak buat kodi ke nak? Minus equal one. Jadi ada kalau panjang ni inventory equal inventory minus one. Okay. Empat, saya kembali lah. And then we reply and then we add to cut. Kita punya inventory berapa lagi ni share? Tiga, tiga. Masuk tiga, ya. Masuk tiga. 
<laughs> so, boleh jadi lah. Nah, tiga ni dia dah disebut. So, this uh, what you just uh, had to start kalau jalan panjang, kita kena buat kekul kita sendiri. To refresh the shutter screen. So, we get this this one one of the pictures, right? So, they will be instantly update the data depending on our logic, right? So, so we get the data, we get the method. So, method ni lebih kurang function yang kita nak call lah. Data adalah initial data. With data tu nanti kita akan Uh, gunakan API instead of kita letak data dalam ni kita letak data dekat Laravel Laravel akan serve as an API so from Google.js we call that API and then after nanti during the project kita akan learn lah apa lagi? dah ada soalan ada soalan sedikit tapi lupa lah. Tengok UJS punya dokumentasi. Misalkan dokumentasi ni lah buat aku punya website. So, dekat sini kalau go through dia akan explain lebih dah macam mana nak menggunakan UJS, macam mana nak menggunakan uh, binding eh, model binding. Basically kalau dekat sini, saya akan go through dia punya background dia tu, click next. Uh, so, dia akan bagi tu step by step lah. Okay, nanti aku buat semua. So, uh, so dekat sini kena ni lah. Uh, Jatuh luar nanti sampai dalam akhir. So, Pak, uh, kalau tak ada apa-apa soalan, kemudian uh, for the first uh, sharing session, we will do again from time to time. Yeah.